After the hell I've gone through, I'm finally... Oh shit, this is Neo. Oh man, that piano hit when Monica appeared on screen. Now I don't even have to consider you a threat. You're literally just normal now. That's weird. Okay, everyone. The literature club is starting. Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Ugh, I miss the debate club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? I feel worse with every day that passes without anyone coming in. I'm really starting to lose confidence. Monica is the only member of the literature club. In the days that have passed, all of her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Am I going about this wrong? Monica glances at one of her flyers. The headline is, do you like literature? Maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick it up over their other club interests. I can't just rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them a vision. A vision. But what kind of vision? Monica rests her head on her desk, deep in thought. But before she realizes it, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up to her. It's so quiet and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. So this is probably going to be like an origin story of how Sayori met up with like Monica at the start. Um, hello? Yeah, see, I knew it. Suddenly, a voice causes Monica to snap awake. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I never do that. <laughs> is this the napping club? No, this is... Monica pauses suddenly, embarrassed to admit that this is, in fact, the literature club. This is the literature club. Yay! I thought I got it wrong for a sec. I'm super sorry. It was like so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize. I do that all the time. Oh? Um, did I miss the club meeting? Where is everyone? Well, about that. This is everybody. Really? Just you? But we're getting more members. I'm working really hard on it. Hold on a sec. If it's just you, that means I get to be vice president! M wait, vice president? Um, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at napping than you. Maybe I should be president. Now you're making fun of me. Oh, I I'm sorry. Um, what was your name? Sayori. Oh, okay. Sayori. I've been trying really, really hard on this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening to not be taken seriously, you know? I care so much about this. I just want to find other people who do too. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I do care, I promise. I have a hard time being serious, that's all. I didn't mean for it to hurt you. And I was joking about the vice president thing too. I would make a terrible vice president. I mean, I'm sure of that. Monica tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she still doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry that this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still be interested in joining after I found a few more members at least? Well, no. I want to join now. Really? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Besides, I can tell how hard you've been working. You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. If nothing else, I'm good at that, so... <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? That's really sweet of you, Sayori. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica, that's such a cool name. Oh, uh, now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling. Well, I didn't say it didn't work. Monica glances at the flyer on her desk and realizes that her name is already written on it. So what do we do first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? We can go home and try to come up with some new ideas to re recruit club members. I can do that. Cool. And I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like, a mission. My mission is to make everyone happy! <laughs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, do you like hugs? I guess so. Sayori suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug, then lets go. Some people can just really use a hug sometimes. Besides, Sayori whispers loudly. Hug energy is what keeps me at my best. <laughs> hug energy. Monica laughs. Although Sayori is very different from her, Monica feels her spirits lifted. Maybe it's just because she finally found another club member. But, well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited! I'm gonna think really hard tonight about how to get more people. Yeah, me too. A day passes and the time comes from the literature club. Monica and Sayori to reconvene. As President Monica ensures that she's the first to arrive to a club room, but she finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sayori. It's been 10 minutes already. 
Maybe Sarah changed her mind about joining. No, that can't be. She was so excited yesterday, but I'm getting kind of worried. Ah, sorry I'm late. I'm here. It's okay. Welcome back. And Sarah spins over to Monica and deposits the sheet onto Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? Ah! <laughs> sorry. Uh, mm. Take my hand. Take my hands. Take me forward. Take me to your dream land. Caution me to watch my step. So I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up. The more I can lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hands, take me forward. Take me to your dream land. Hey, this is really good. You wrote this, Aori? Of course. Wait, wait, no, that's the wrong side of the paper. Uh, I wasn't ready to share that yet. I'm so embarrassed. Monica flips over the paper. Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now, do you write poetry often? I do, but I'm sure I'm not anywhere near as good as it as you are. <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. I've never written anything I was happy with. Like, I always read it again a week after I write it, and I'm like, wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree with the person I want myself to be, or something like that. Aww. You should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong there. I need to, like, set a good example or whatever. Um, you know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like sharing poems we write and stuff like that. Oh yeah! I would love that! It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? It's like, we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people usually. But you can when it's in a poem, right? Yeah. I think that's helping me form a more cohesive version of for the club. So I'm glad you showed me. Well, even though it was by accident. Me too. I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good that someone else read it. I'll try to show you more of them in the future. I'd love that. Oh jeez, I'm getting distracted. Do you want to go over this recruitment brainstorming together? My brain stormed so hard. It was like a brain hurricane. My brain is a natural disaster. <laughs> Sayori, that's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at the list. Make cupcakes. I was hungry. But it's a good idea, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. I mean, when would we have the chance to give people cupcakes? You know, like, when they come into the club. What if we said we had free cupcakes on the flyers? I'm, like, kind of worried that you would bring in the wrong kinds of people, you know. Wrong kinds? People would just come for the cupcakes and then leave. Ah, nobody would do that. That would be mean. But you know, I want to find people who are really into literature, even if they don't know it yet. Let's see, the next thing on the list. Hunt for people reading books. I don't get it. Like going around to the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Like in the morning or during lunch, and we tell them to check out the literature club. Well, the problem with that is like, wouldn't most people reading books just be doing it for an assignment or something? How would we know if they're just reading for fun? Um, well, we could ask them. But then we'd be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. You're coming up with a lot more things than I can. Oh, your next idea is to hand out flyers rather than just put them up on the wall. I'd definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful! <laughs> I never said you weren't. I just need to think. What would we tell people when handing them out? I don't want to just be like, join the literature club. Let's figure out how we can better engage people. What if you told them about the club activities and stuff? What club activities? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? A vision for the club? Okay, Sayori, pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you know, like a random passerby who's getting the flyer. How would you react to the idea of a literature club? Um, probably like, literature is stupid. I'm joining the anime club. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's a reference to me, isn't it? What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking of a friend of mine. Okay, what if I said that we, like, do group reading and discuss it together? I would probably nap through that. And that's you, Sayori. Yeah, but that doesn't really sound fun to most people anyway. We need to really catch their interest, you know? Uh... This sucks. Why is this so hard? 
Monica, don't be sad. What do you like about literature, Sayori? Me? Well, kind of what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you the chance to express yourself. Like, express yourself in ways that you can't normally do when you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't get to share, you know? It's like, intimate. Yeah. How do we get that across to people? We could be like, express your true self. Be intimate with us. Okay, that's kind of. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. What? What is it? I forgot all my things in the classroom. I must have gotten too excited and rushed here. Silly me. Rushed? But you weren't. Ah, uh, never mind. Did you want to get your stuff then? I'll forget it if I don't get do it now. <laughs> well, I'll wait for you then. Okay, it'll only take a second. Sherry dashed out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. Monica sighs and starts jotting her notes on a sheet of paper. Express yourself. Be who you want to be. Make new friends. Discover a new you. Discover your heart. No. Write your heart out. No. Write into your heart. Write the way into your heart. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. Wow, that's lame. Monica! Uh, you startled me. Sorry, but it's something important. On the way to my cl classroom, there was a girl reading a book. Reading a book? Let's hurry and recruit her. Wait, are you sure she's not just doing her homework? I could tell she was really into it. Um, well, I guess we could take a look. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stands up from the desk. Then the two depart the classroom with Sayori leading the way. This way! You don't have to run. Sayori leads Monica over to a particular classroom then lowers her voice to a whisper. See? In there! Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intently reading a book. I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president, and I would probably scare her anyway. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Monica takes a deep breath and timidly enters the classroom. That was fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um, well, I entered the classroom and she didn't even look up from her book. So I just kind of just left the flyer on her desk and walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute, but I'm sure she'll see it and want to join the club. I hope so. Shall we head back now? The two head back to the club room, Sayori feeling rather accomplished and Monica still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. Upon returning, Monica and Sayori resume their strategy meeting. They discuss various kinds of recruitment tactics uh, from professional to silly. After going through Sayori's list with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two end up in a better spot than from where they began. Well, I wouldn't say today was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we're starting to make progress. I can't wait to get some new members. Hey, what's this? Sayori appears at a sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. That's so cute. <laughs> I thought it was a little over dramatic. But, Sayori pauses and thinks for a moment. You know, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What do you mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like I could tell from talking to you today. It seems like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but would you call yourself a perfectionist? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go. And it's like, I can't accept anything less than that. But I think in the end, it helps me try my hardest at everything. So I don't think it's that bad. Like with this club, we have such an opportunity to make it exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. So I'm just really afraid of it deviating from that. Division. What's the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. I don't know. I just want everyone to... Monica trails off. Smiling, Sayori taps her finger against the sheet of paper. Write the way into your heart. I think what you're trying to do is to make the club that you need the most out of anyone. Well, you're the one who knows yourself best, of course, but I'm here to help you. Monica returns Sayori's smile. It's sort of amazing how kind you are. We're really going to make this the best club ever. They say that, but like, you know, replay the entire Doki Doki series from start to finish. Sayori nods and the two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is the steady whisper of the air conditioner. The only movement in the afternoon sunlight trickling its way in and out of the moving clouds. Sayori breaks the moment with a big yawn. Time to go home? You tell me, you're president. <laughs> 
In that case, today's meeting is officially over. I look forward to tomorrow. Me too! Sayuri beams and grabs her things. You can go on ahead. I need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's alright. I just want some alone time. Um, in that case... Sayuriki... Sayoriki? What? Sayori waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck! Monica smiles and waves in return as Sayori spins her way out of the club room. All alone, she sighs to herself and takes a minute to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori, but she decides it was something she probably needed to write about now. The club that I need the most. I don't get it. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. Something I could use to help lead people to happiness. Literature is the key to that, because it's the window to the real person inside us all. Underneath, the person who's forced to always smile and blend in. The person who's forced to be perfect. Um, Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. <laughs> Imagine if that was like, <laughs> it's just the Windows folders. It's like the folders for the game, that'd be gus. Did Sayori leave this behind? I hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Poems. It's a folder of poems. Become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The colour, the scent. It's so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment yanked away in an instant. All for me. All for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck. So pretty in my hair. Pluck, pluck, pluck. You're going to die, and you too. Beneath my feet, a flower stands alone. It beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends? I look in every direction, and the field I stand in, the prosperous field, is a barren wasteland. The fruits of my labor, the carnage of my joy, and that is why I've decided I must become the flower. Oh, what the? Wait, Sayori? Oh. Oh, it's done. It's actually done. Oh, shit. I actually wasn't even expecting to finish. I thought that was going to go on for a bit longer. That's mad. Oh, okay. Now we got Trust Part 2. We'll play Trust Part 2 and we'll go from there. And I think I'll end it for today then after this.